Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with Misha. Hi guys. It's been a while. It's been a while. I mean, we have seen each other a few days ago and a Indeed. couple of months ago, but on your channel we haven't made a video since last year. Pretty much. It's been the bizarrest of bizarre years, but today we are in the GR Yaris. A car, of course, I have one of as well, but one that is not quite as extreme as this one. Sorry, I'm completely in the way. I've got to get my harnesses on. <laughs> Somebody much smaller than me has been in here before. Can you so, do it on the way to the track? Yes, I think so. Well, I need to have at least this started. <laughs> but today, as we head out to Torstenfarten on the Nürburgring Nordschleife, I'm going to uh, Try something. Try something a little bit unusual. Okay, I'm solving a cube going through a carousel. I never thought I'd be doing that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking about GR Yaris's because I need the Yaris to be sold to me a little bit more. I don't think there's any better way to do that than to be thrown around the Nürburgring by you. <laughs> True. This car is very interesting, very bouncy. It's like you mentioned, it's far from stock. Manta Racing have done a tremendous job by transforming this car into a proper ring tool. Yeah. For that matter, you can already see on camera here inside. We have cage, uh, half cage, which was built by our friends from Stalus. So it's like welded one piece cage, adds some to the rigidity of the car. We have a car full position seat, short harnesses to keep us nice and tidy. It's also slightly lowered thanks to Manta Racing uh, rails because the okay. stock seat position is quite high. Uh -huh. On the outside, we have KW Club Sport suspension. We have endless brake pads with endless brake discs, Pro Track wheels. Currently, we're running 225 Michelin PS4 S tires because you can see it's slightly cloudy. We were expecting some rain. Usually, we would run Nankang Air 1 semi slicks. So, right now, we have slightly less grip than we can optimally have. But as you mentioned, the car is a bit bouncy thanks to stable, stiffer suspension. We have <laughs> lots of jumps and hills on the Nordschleife, of course. Should, should be quite interesting to see. Uh, do we have any doggy bags, just in case you're gonna lose it? <laughs> I think it should be okay. So now I should explain what I'm going to do. And it involves this. Basically, speed cubing is something that I've certainly spent a lot of time playing with recently. And on a drive I was doing down from Car Week, down towards Los Angeles, I stopped at Speed Cube Shop, who very kindly hooked me up with some of these. And I learned how to do it for the first time many years back. But what I've never tried to do is see how many times I can solve one while we go around the Nordschleife in a GR Yaris. <laughs> so we go through the Paris. I don't, so at the moment we're just going through a, uh, a shuffle up phase. I don't really have a, uh, a formal system for how this is going to go and I don't know how I'm gonna feel at the end of it. I suspect I could be a little bit queasy. Yeah, it uh, depends where, I don't know. I mean, I can look on the, my phone and be on track. I can be blindfolded on the track. You've seen it, like yes. I could narrate the whole track blindfolded, but Okay. Where do we start? Well, I've got to start solving because we're on the way out. Oh, that Doing sounds good. good. That sounds really good, actually, the car. This is like, I'm half concentrating on the car and half concentrating on getting this done as best I can. And seeing um, how, how, how long, how far around the track will I have done? <laughs> I didn't look at the compression. <laughs> oh, wow, those brakes, that's cool. Goodness me. This is pretty intense, actually. <laughs> I've made a mistake. You see this? I knew this would happen. I made a mistake. I'm, ah. <laughs> this is really quite hard. Yeah. I was lapping the car yesterday in same mistakes. I have to get used to the grip levels again, so okay. you do a bit. Yeah, yeah, here. yeah. That's Driver what they excuse. All say. <laughs> Driver excuse and Rubik's Cube excuse. Really quite difficult. I 
I knew this would be challenging, but I underestimated how challenging it would be. <laughs> I'm going to be white as a sheet at the end. <laughs> as we go through Foxhole.
past the gantry, but we're still not off the track, so no, no, it technically I've counts. I've got a little moment while you cool it down. I got it, yeah. I, I've completely lost where I am. You know, <laughs> we're on the Nurburgring Are we? There we are. Okay. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Should I slow down even further, Tim? <laughs> Woohoo! No, I've, I've failed. Oh, how? Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> th th this proves that people perform better under stress. Because once we stop going fast, you're like, oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, pretty much a bit like that. That was really, really hard work. Like, really hard work. <laughs> like, the intense... Because this car is... this is That was on it. I mean, you were on it, obviously, driving. Well... Yeah, uh, as far as the tires allowed me to, but uh, it was nice. I liked it. It was great being together again. I, I do you know what? Tell my me. brain is completely gone. You I can you, you cannot do I'm it. I'm out. Oh, well, a lap so, of the Nordschleife and uh, seven, six and a half uh, solves. Six and a half solves. Yeah, and uh, well, I guess it's a kind of compliment <sighs> to me. Or was I such a bad driver that it got you? Uh, I think it's a compliment to you. That yeah, drive okay. was that that taught me something about the GR Yaris. <laughs> Like some of those speeds were pretty intense. This is this is that was quite the car. I feel like we're gonna have to do another lap, probably off camera, so that I can actually take in the car. Yep. And enjoy that side of the experience. Yeah, and we should put it on semi slicks as well. I'm not sure if that's a totally good idea because why? It's a totally different experience. To be honest, I'll be completely honest with you. But I, I meant if I was doing this, but you know, yes, if I'm not doing this. For oh, sure. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but uh, regarding the semi slicks, there is one thing. I actually, not only me, but also other GR Yaris owners like driving this car more on street tires than semi-slicks because yeah. otherwise the car becomes a bit too boring actually to drive. It's just like, yeah, you can keep up with GT3s and everything and then it's like, <laughs> yeah, great. It has no, no emotion, no involvement and now the car is jumpy, slidey, you can actually do the WRC stuff. Uh, That's quite a funky way of looking at it. It is, it you, is. You can keep up with stuff that a car like this shouldn't be able to keep up with. Yeah. Are you still trying to solve it? <laughs> I'm still trying to solve it. I'm not going to rest easy unless I've actually finished it and then put it away and say mission success. Well, I can say we have a big mission success because the first ever lap we did together, back then I was still with Sid Boris and I was in the yeah. ring taxi. And after one lap you got out, you were completely white. You needed Coke, sugar. Be ah, there we go. Congrats. So I'm ha have exactly the same right now. But Deja vu. Yes, but now you can actually look away at things. You can. You're such a great passenger and a driver <laughs> as well. So uh, I think there is quite a progression after like what five, six, seven years already by now. Yeah, yeah, hundred plus laps now. Yeah. Lots of different cars, lots of different experience. But that was a lap I'm not going to forget. No, me neither. <laughs> me neither. I can add something to my to my list as well of random things we've done at the Nurburgring. Yes. <laughs> a little bit hot, a little bit sweaty, a little bit in need of sugar, a sit down, and a rest. But thank you very much for the run, Misha. Thank you for joining. It was it was lots of fun. Nice sunset. It's, uh, it's great. What can uh, one person ask for more in life than Nurburgring? This environment, great friends, great vibes. Dinner. I think dinner. We dinner. dinner. Let's, let's do that. All right. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Appreciate it, guys. You have officially watched me solve a speed cube, making myself feel very ill in the process while being driven in the GR Yaris at the Nurburgring. That's it for now. Misha's link is down below. Go check out his channel if you don't already for more content from here at the Nurburgring. But yeah, that's it for now, dude. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. See ya. Cheers. I feel so ill. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need to, why am I not surprised? <laughs> oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, dude, you're so sweaty. <laughs> Your whole shirt is like I wet. I know, I'm not surprised. <laughs>